Hello YouTube friends, Alicia here. I wanted to show you I have this white drawer unit all organized. Actually, I have this fairly organized most of the time, but it's just I want to do a video because it's, it's something I haven't videoed yet. It's a unit from Canadian Tire, but you can pick these units up, I think, pretty much anywhere. So it's three drawers as you can see and they're wide drawers. The first drawer is... I'm sorry about the way this is being videoed. Like I've explained before, my craft room is very tiny. This craft room is very tiny. But it's kind of just basics. My hole punch, my rotary cutter, wet wipes, my paper cutters live in here, heat resistant mat, paper clips, thumbtacks, basic supplies that aren't necessarily for junk journaling sequins are but just you know it's kind of like an office supply drawer I guess it used to be the drawer that I would keep all my go-to craft supplies in but I have switched that and I will show those drawers in another video this drawer is all stamping supplies. Most of my inks are now displayed on my table on my other drawers, but there is a few extra inks as well as some stamps I really like. Stamping blocks, stamp cleaners, re-inkers, uh, stamp jigs, stamp roller. Sorry, this is my stamp jig. So all kinds of things like that. I get most of my stuff at the thrift store, which is why you see thrift store price tags. This bottom drawer makes me happy. I might hoard adhesives, but I actually use adhesives, you know, being a paper crafter. Well, being a crafter in general. So I have it organized as best I could. I organize them in. I have a uh, printer that has an Insta Ink program and they come in really nice boxes so I keep all the box no I don't keep all the boxes I keep boxes that I want to use and then organize into that if I kept all the boxes I'd be drowning in boxes but um, I have my glue guns glue dots foam tape roll tapes that kind of thing this is foam adhesives, uh, or dimensional adhesives, photo corners. Uh, this is like regular tape, sticker maker, which mm, it was a good concept, not a good use of product. I found that you waste an awful lot of product and the product wasn't cheap. But I got it from the thrift store, so in that case, you know, when I when I get the product for 50 cents, it's a good deal. Uh, another glue gun. Yes, I have three glue guns. This is, well, this is a fine tip and this is a regular tip, and that one is also a regular tip, but whatever. These are just extra tacky glues, glue sticks my tack it over and over I this stuff is really good for people that um, want to make stamps sticky I use this now it because it stays tacky you have to put like once you put that on the back of a stamp you have to put that stamp on like a piece of acetate or something when you're not using it because it will stick to everything it doesn't dry and that's why yeah tack it over and over it also works if you water it down I don't remember the measurements to restick your Cricut mats, your Scan and Cut mats, I have used it, and that's actually why I bought it. So this glue is actually really handy, but it, it like I said, it stays sticky and it stays very sticky. So um, be warned. What else is here? Uh, this is a okay to wash it glue. I've never used it, but for twenty five cents, I figured it couldn't hurt to have it in my stash. Um. Oh, clear tacky 
gel glue. This is not my favorite glue. It's from the dollar store. And for $1.25, I mean, whatever, it's fine. Um, glossy accents. Got that from the thrift store. But yeah, now I'm just, I don't know why. I just like this drawer because it's nice and organized. Um, but anyways, this is my adhesives. And that is the last of the drawers. On top of it, I have, this is from the big steak sticker maker sorry I also got that from the thrift store I uh somebody when they had used it I don't know how they managed but they had managed to mess it up really badly so I needed a new cartridge but like I said the cartridges were very are very expensive and I actually don't even know if you can still get them at least I haven't seen them in Canada so I got rid of the actual machine and I kept this cartridge because you can lay something down on this sticky part and get a full coverage of adhesive. And, you know, for a dollar fifty or $2, whatever I paid, the roll of adhesive was worth it, even though um, whoever had the machine had messed up the cartridge. And then my die-cutting machine now lives here, which used to live over in a corner um, in my craft room. However, it was very difficult to get down because it was heavy. So... Um, I now have it here, and then I just have a cutting mat here, my heat tool, vellum adhesive, and decoupage medium back there. So that is what is in those three drawers. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and as always, I will get back to you.